Hi, this is a homework helper for uh, comparing fractions. I call it the fraction rectangle. Let me show you how it works real quick and you can get better at comparing fractions to find out if they're greater than, less than, or equal to. Watch this. When we have a, uh, two fractions that are set, up, set uh, apart from each other, two-thirds, is it greater than, less than, or equal to one-half? The only way to really take a look at it is to make a picture like this for fourth graders is to draw what I call the, fra the fraction rectangle. Draw a rectangle, cut it in half this way, horizontally, and then take your thirds. Your denominator tells you how many pieces are in the top upstairs part. So I've cut that into thirds and I label them one-third, one-third, and one third, and then the bottom's cut into halves. This is one half, this is one half. Now I can set this up. Now I need to take two out of the three. So I shade two thirds, two out of three, and I shade one out of two. Now if my drawing is pretty accurate, I should be able to see pretty easily that two thirds is actually bigger than one half. So the bigger side gets two dots. The smaller side gets one dot, and all I have to do is connect the dots, and I have an inequality, a number sentence that says two-thirds is greater than one-half. Now, the kids have to get used to drawing this square, or this fraction rectangle, so they've got to practice a nice, straight fraction rectangle, cut it in half, they put one fraction upstairs, the other fraction downstairs, and then all they have to do is see it with their eyes, and that's what we tell them look at it, see it, draw a picture, and then go back and answer the question, which one's greater, which one's less, perhaps they're equal to. That's how you do fraction rectangle to determine when you're comparing fractions. So practice that. This is a homework helper, and you can do fractions really well.